In the last session, we created the Test Architect interface entities and elements that map the windows and controls our test must work with. Now that we have all the TA names that we need to represent those user interface objects, we can get started writing the action lines of our login test. At this point, if you'd like to follow this session hands-on, you should have a newly minted test module, one consisting only of the template provided by the editor, and interface entities for both the login and welcome windows of the car rental application. Open up the test module now and, if necessary, check it out. A checked out item exhibits a green open padlock on its icon. Checked in icons display gray locks in the lock state. A good place to start with any new test module is to define its scope, or at least begin to define it. And we do that with test objectives. Let's take the existing undefined test objective and give it a title. In the initial section, let's start by launching our target application. Enter the Action Start program. But first, note the action completion list that pops up when we start typing. This is one part of the editor's content assist functionality. The list continues to be winnowed down as you type in more of your action's name. When you see your action in the list, just select it and hit tab. Now, locate the file carrental.exe on your computer. The location will depend on where you install Test Architect. A typical location will be here. Supply the program argument of the action with the executable's file path. Now in the test case, note that because the listed test objective has the same ID as the one we just supplied a title for, the title is also reflected here. And now let's give our test case a descriptive title. Let's expand the test case a bit by hitting Control i a few times. And the first thing we'll want our test to do is write a name into the username text box of the login window. Now we could simply write out the action line to handle this, but instead let's expand the login interface entity in the explorer panel and we see that each interface element we've created has its own node. We'll drag the username node into the position where we want our action line to be. And what appears is another content assist list. This is not, however, the same type of action completion list that we saw a moment ago. Instead, this is an applicable actions list. It consists of all those built-in actions that can be used on the class of control we just dragged in. In this case, the list is for a text box control. And the focus is on the action most commonly used for text boxes, Enter. Enter sounds like the right action for us, so we select it. And now we find that most of our action line has been written for us. The action name, the window, and the control to be acted on, as well as all the appropriate argument headers. Now all we have to do is complete this line with the value to be entered, which is the username, Alex. Our next line enters the password value. This time we'll just write the test line by hand, starting with another Enter action. And now we again see the old action completion list based on what we've typed. Hit tab to accept the selected item and proceed to the next field. Now because we're now in a window argument, we can either start typing or hit control space and we see a list of the known windows for our project, which are basically the known interface entities, and can select from it. Similarly, hitting control space in the control argument lists all the known controls of the specified window and we select password. Finally, we provide the password TA. Now, if you're thinking that it's not always a good idea to put unencrypted passwords in test files, you're right. And Test Architect does offer a means to hide passwords used in testing, which you can read about in the help documentation. Now, our test needs to press the login button. Let's once again drag the proper control into the editor, which this time is Submit Login, otherwise known as the Login button. And now, a new set of applicable actions appears, ones that target controls of type button, and we simply select click. Now window and control get filled in, but there are some empty arguments here. Do we need to provide a click type? Or X or Y? Well, the quickest way to answer that is to position our cell pointer over the action name and hit the F1 key. And Test Architect Context Sensitive Help displays the reference page for the action click. So click type optional. Default to left mouse click. X optional, Y optional. So, it looks like our action line is good to go. Finally, the objective of our test case. We want to check that we've been logged in and directed to the welcome window. So just as we did for the controls earlier, let's drag that Windows node, that is the Interface Entity node, to the next line. And the applicable actions now are those that target Windows. The suggested action is Check Window Exists, which is just what we need. And again, our entire test line has been written for us. 
The final step in our plan is to close the target application, which we can do by closing the currently open window, which is welcome. We'll do this in the final section, since what we're really doing is tidying up after ourselves. Again, drag the Welcome Window node, this time select Close Window from the list, and our test is now complete. Next, we'll run our test and have a look at the results it produces for us.